Hey dudes, how you doing? It's Saint. Here's the thing. I suck at horror and I get scared easily so Resident Evil usually isn't on my radar. But the amount of upgrades across the board in Resident Evil Village in comparison to Biohazard is something I find fascinating and definitely worthy of a video. Before we continue, please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy. So without further ado, here are the top 10 things you need to know about Resident Evil 8 before the game releases on May 7th. Number 1. Story It's a couple of years after RE7 with Ethan Winters as a protagonist yet again. During this time gap, he's been enjoying a peaceful life with his wife Mia and his daughter Rose. However, things quickly go south as Chris Redfield arrives with his soldiers at Ethan's house to murder Mia and kidnap Rose. After tracking Chris's movements, Ethan finds himself in a European village with some unique residents. Number 2. Characters. In Resident Evil Village, you can expect a healthy cast of both old and new characters. Ethan and Mia are back in the mix, as well as Chris Redfield. Chris and his reasons behind killing Ethan's wife and kidnapping his daughter are some of the key mysteries of the plot. RE8's director stated that we would be seeing a much darker side to him during the course of the game. In terms of new characters, the ones we know about so far are Lady Dimitrescu, her three witch daughters, Heisenberg, and Mother Miranda. Lady Dimitrescu has without a doubt drawn the most attention out of all of them. She's a vampire who owns the castle and is the mother of the three creepy witches that we've seen in the trailers and demos. While she's not the greatest threat in the game, we are led to believe that she's going to be our main antagonist throughout most of it. If we take a look at the three witch daughters, they're still a bit of a mystery. But from what we know until now, we can see that they're powerful, though not as powerful as their mother, and serve the role of secondary antagonists in the game. Now Heisenberg is a completely different case. He appears to actually want to help Ethan, even though his job is to capture him. He seems like a cool, laid-back character, and he appears to have some sort of telekinetic power but the latter is still unconfirmed. Last but not least, we have Mother Miranda, who seems to be the big bad this time around, having everyone in the village bend to her will. That's right, even Lady Dimitrescu and Heisenberg. Number 3 exploration, locations, and length. Even though RE8 will take place within one village, don't expect it to be small. For now, we've seen the surrounding areas of the castle including fields and caves, as well as the castle itself. From the looks of it, saying it's expansive would be an understatement. Capcom has also suggested that the game will have more emphasis on exploration than RE7, with it playing a key role in combat, the economy, and completion. With collectibles coming back in the form of goat totems, smashing them will be key to unlocking secret prizes as well as achieving that 100%. Taking all of this into account, we can safely say that this game is not only bigger than RE7, but is also going to be longer. By how much, still remains to be seen. As a bit of a fun fact for those of you who are into it, there are going to be some aspects of a destructible environment. An example of this would be that you can break fences. Number 4. Economy and the Duke just like Resident Evil 4, we're going to have a merchant, who in this instance is called the Duke, to buy and sell everything. The best part is that getting in-game currency to spend is pretty straightforward. You get coins by shooting crows, picking them up from the environment, searching dead enemies, as well as selling treasure you find while you explore. Number 5. Inventory As part of the many Resident Evil 4 inspired changes and additions, the inventory system has gone back to the briefcase mechanic. For the uninitiated, this means that you literally need to fit everything from guns to medical supplies and inside it. For all of you hoarders out there, you can rest easy because key items will not count towards your inventory space. Number 6 enemies. One of the complaints regarding RE7 was its lack of variety in terms of enemies. Well, in Resident Evil Village, this is most definitely not the case, with zombies, werewolves, witches, vampires, giants, and more being thrown into the mix. Of course, Lady Dimitrescu and her daughters are also going to be an interesting threat. Number 7 combat. Now combat has definitely been taken up a notch, with different enemies needing different strategies, improved melee and movement, the implementation of kicking enemies and barricading, new distraction mechanics like shooting bags of flour, and traps such as mines or choke points, we can definitely say that this is going to be the most combat focused entry in the franchise. Let's not forget Lady Dimitrescu and her daughters. Dimitrescu in Resident Evil 8 will serve the purpose of Mr. X in Resident Evil 2. With her being unkillable, the best thing you can do if you find her is use the multiple corridors and pathways of the castle to your advantage. Fortunately, she's slow enough for you to give her the slip. On the other hand, we have her daughters, which are much quicker, separate mini boss fights you'll need to face. Fortunately, you can kill them, but the process is a little tricky. Each one of the witches has a common weakness in the form of an item, and you'll need to complete puzzles with that item to beat them. Number 8. Puzzles They've always been a key part of the Resident Evil games, and this time will be no different. It's going to be a major focus, and the Resident Evil 8 director stated that they wanted to make sure 
sure that they tied in well with the context of the story rather than them just being random tasks. Number nine, performance. Here is where you can clearly see Capcom's intent in avoiding cross-generational issues while still offering high-fidelity gameplay for newer tech. For last-gen consoles, we have the following. The Xbox One X and PS4 Pro will have a mode that will allow for 4K HDR at 30fps and another mode that will run 1080p at 60fps. The base PS4 and Xbox One will both be set at 900p. However, while the PS4 will run at 45fps, the Xbox One will run at 30. For next-gen consoles, the performance specs are obviously more impressive, with the Xbox Series X and PS5 running at 4K HDR 60fps or 4K HDR ray tracing at 40fps. The Xbox Series S serves its purpose as the middleman, running at either 1440p HDR at 45 frames per second or 1440p HDR ray tracing at 30 frames per second. Lastly, for those of you who like the more technical aspects, the game will be using AMD ray tracing as well as AMD's Fidelity FX, so it's safe to assume that an AMD PC build would take full advantage of this. Number 10, Next Gen Quirks. We all know that current gen consoles have been an impressive step up, but we can't deny that on the innovation side of things, the PS5 has a leg up from its competitor. Resident Evil Village will take full advantage of this console's 3D audio and DualSense features. As it may seem obvious, 3D audio, especially in a horror game, will allow for a whole new sense of immersion that will definitely make the experience better. Combine this with a good use of the adaptive triggers for firing, and you'll overall be feeling like you're getting a different game depending on what you're playing it on. The good news for both Xbox Series X and PS5 users is that thanks to their SSDs, players will be seeing virtually no load times. Reverse as a bit of a bonus, we have Reverse, the multiplayer experience that will allow you to play as all the main characters in the Resident Evil universe. When you purchase Resident Evil 8, you'll get this for no extra cost. It's not exactly the most exciting part of the game, however, it's nice to know that at least you'll be getting this extra bit of content with your game. Well guys, that is it for this video. Let me know if I missed anything down in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I upload videos every single week about tech or gaming remember to follow me on instagram twitter and twitch at saint woven as well as join the pack on discord thank you for watching my dudes and i hope you have a good one Bye bye